We are all explorers. Our DNA has wired us to be. I feel the key to life is to never stop exploring, whether it's exploring music, food, cultures, everything is part of the journey and it starts with exploration. My name is Leland Melvin. I was a professional football player that then became an astronaut. I grew up in this small southern town and when Neil and Buzz in 1969 walked on the moon, I never imagined myself being an astronaut because it just wasn't in the cars for someone that looked like me. I went to the University of Richmond on a football scholarship. I graduated with a chemistry degree, got drafted into the NFL, pulled a hamstring, started graduate school at the University of Virginia, re-injured my leg, it was the end of the football career, finished up my master's degree, and then went to work for NASA. And a friend of mine said, Leland, you'd be a great astronaut. I just laughed at him, like, yeah, right. And he handed me an application, didn't fill it out. But that same year, another friend of mine, he got into the astronaut program. And I said to myself, wait a minute, if that knucklehead can get in, I can get in. So I applied the next selection and I got in. And I had a training accident where I lost all my hearing. The doctors told me I would never find space. And I ended up staying the path, not giving up. And they signed a waiver for me to fly. And so I flew twice to the International Space Station. Three, two, one, liftoff. Eight and a half minutes later, we're now in space and floating. And then we fly over Lynchburg, Virginia, my hometown. And we're breaking bread at 17,500 miles per hour, having a meal with people we used to fight against, Russians and Germans. And I'm thinking about how we are all working together as one family, one community in space. You don't see any borders. You just see this one beautiful marble that we're all coexisting on. And you're going around it every 90 minutes and you're seeing all of humanity as one civilization. It cognitively shifted my perspective on the possibilities for not just me, but for all humankind. When you get to space and now you're floating, you're untethered from the planet. But when you get back home, you get reconnected and regrounded. Growing up in a small town in Lynchburg, I was always connected to the ground. We always camped and hiked, but that juxtaposition from up in space floating to being on the ground, you feel even more grounded to this, this place. When I was in space, myself and another African-American astronaut, Bobby Satcher, were the first two African-American men in space at the same time. You know, representation does matter, the optics do matter, and when you see someone that looks like you in that role, you then go, oh, I can do that. And so my mission now is to inspire that next generation of explorers, to ensure that all kids, no matter what zip code they're from, has a chance to hear stories like mine, where I was a kid who never imagined being able to fly in space, but now having the ability to fly to the International Space Station. You can be whatever you want to. You can reinvent yourself. You know, throughout your journey, you know, there are always roadblocks to your success. Whether pulling a hamstring in training camp or losing all my hearing, this journey is, is full of obstacles, but you can overcome them. I got a chance to fly in space because I did not give up.